My experience with Wolf has been a collective. I've had over 400 woofers here, coming and going all the time. And every time somebody leaves, and every time somebody arrives, the whole character of the group changes. People come from all over the world. I've had people here from 30 different countries, and they make the whole fabric for everybody else special. <laughs> Wolf has a program uh, where producers from around the country, hosts from around the country, can present to them something of value that would teach Woofers something important, but also add value and strengthen the small family farm. I selected a solar shower. I had to write a business proposal. They accepted it, and I got a $2,000 grant for that. So we collect water through the well. It comes down here through the trenches. Cold water enters the copper heart here. It goes through a system of tubes where the sun then heats the water and then is available to come out of the system over here. The reason why we have a solar panel is because the solar panel is in charge of, of working a pump so that 40 gallons of hot water then go into the tank and they get pumped back. So it's a closed loop that is heating water so I have 80 gallons of hot water to, at my disposal. Any human endeavor requires a lot of energy. So what I'm trying to do is trying to make it as sustainable as possible by replacing coal and fossil fuel power to renewable power. And it's a process, it takes time, uh, but I think it's real worth it because in the long run, I'll have more independence, I'll have more say over how power is used and produced on the property, and it's better for the environment. And that's a big part of what we do. I also wanted to have a hot water station where I can clean some of our lugs and clean some of our buckets so you know so that we don't have E. coli outbreaks here. Hot water is one of the best things to do and it's chemical free. There's a cutoff valve and as soon as you turn it on you can see that you have water flowing. In the process of building out the structure a lot of the materials, a lot of the building materials are being repurposed. So it's a, it's a great way for young people to see that when you do something good, that there's a lot to it. And what are the skill sets that are needed to do this project? And how can we rethink how we use building materials? How many woofers worked on this? Probably at least a dozen. I uh, had a, uh, a carpenter here from Venezuela that helped me with the foundation. I uh, had an engineer from England that was helping me put up the posts. That's part of the magic of I don't. I think that takes some people by surprise as, as the interaction you have with people from different parts of the world that are all working towards a common goal. And when you do that, you see people's approach to life, and that's just magic. It's just a beautiful thing to witness. If it wasn't for Wolf, I would have gotten out of farming at some point. The, the relationships that I have had, the help that I got at the right time in my life, the powerful effect that it's had on my farm and my future has really made it worth moving forward and it got me through a tough time in my life. And without that support, I don't know if I would have made it. Wolf saved me, saved this farm. And, and I owe them a lot. You know, solar electric is next. I want to get those wells off grid. The house, eventually, I want to be on solar power. So the solar shower is just the beginning. I guess like anything. Alright, let's go. Let's go sand some wood. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs>